Hey everybody, it's Dan Devey for TheCinemaSource.com and we're here on the set of the TNT original series, Rizzolian Isles. We're about to chat with the cast about the upcoming season and we're gonna find out the answer to that age-old question. Are you a Rizzoli or an Isles? And I'm talking about booze. Did you have the Rizzoli or did you have the Isles? I had both. <laughs> I suggest you do the same. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> it was very, very good. That's the best very good. of that problem. Well, it was funny because we were sitting, you know, on, on, you know, the TNT flight, which is just, God, I love TNT so much. And, and literally, I was saying... Well, let's do, you know, we'll do like a Rizzoli kind of savory thing and then do like a Mora sweet thing and, you know, make the, the Rizzoli, it's either got to be like a beer or a Bloody Mary, something kind of real bar-like, and then you do more very refined and sophisticated and, you know, maybe like a martini and some sort of macaroon. Right? So, you know, and, and then they did it. And I was like, sweet, okay, thanks. Yeah. Did Isles have the vodka in it? Yes. Oh, it did, right. Triple Cranberry, sec. triple sec, and okay. Mm -hmm. one of it's good. Ones but it was very light. It wasn't too heavy. Oh, really? Yes, I just had one. I want to take a nap, but I'm not going to. I, just I made the wrong choice. I couldn't have the beer. If I have the beer, it puts me to sleep. Okay. It's calories and you go to sleep. I mean, I drive on the lot Monday morning. You know, I find that Angie just sort of starts to take the back seat and J Jane just moves over to the driver's seat. And I have, you know, very, very good friends here that I will say, like a crazy person, you know, okay, well, and, I'll see you on Friday, around nine o'clock. No, yeah, you want to meet for drinks? All right. And then Angie just kind of, you know, goes away, and Jane comes out, and you know, you know, not to take things that I say to heart, or, you know, <laughs> things like that. <laughs> but you know, maybe we'll drink a lot of beer. Who knows? But I love beer. I do love. I love beer. So whenever I, when I'm playing Mora, and I don't have the beer, my instinct would actually be beer over wine. So it's funny because I'm not, you know, at all like the character like that. <laughs> Jane, you should have a freaking clue where Brian is. Nobody's seen anything. There's no physical evidence to tell us anything about the murder. Jane, all I've got is his creep and interrogation, and I don't think he took Brian. Okay, I think that And if should. his alibi checks out, then I'm back to square one with every known pedophile in Boston. Jane, you're interrupting me a lot. Okay, your turn. Being arrested is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. I hope it doesn't happen, but if it happens to me and she was the arresting officer, I right. think I'd be okay with that. Is I, that wrong? I, no, it's not wrong of you at all. I would love to be arrested by, by Jane Rizzoli. Mm. <laughs> Frankie, not so much. Frankie, I, that'd probably be a bad day if I was arrested by Frankie. You know, I wouldn't be happy about that. He wouldn't be very nice to me either. The thing that I love about this show is I love the tone. Mm -hmm. Because the tone, I think, is unique. It is unique. I agree. I agree. Um, how do you describe that tone? You know, I think it's... That's a great question. Even though I love True Detective this season and I really was a big fan, it, it felt like a movie to me in that way. I am a person who likes to watch TV and feel that there is some hope. That's oh, it. And, yes. and tonally, you can play with that however you want. It doesn't mean that there's not a really dark episode. It doesn't mean that we can't have a funny episode. But in general, there's hope. These people are good people. They're trying to do better in the world. They're, I've always been a sucker for, for those kinds of shows. Those are the ones I want to watch every week. So I understand that. I understand these people. And, you know, when I step into the role of this character, it's, it's after so many years, you sort of, we start to get such a music together. And when I watch the show, I don't see Sasha and Angie. I, I really see Jane and Mora. I see th those two women together as, you know, and I, I find myself going, oh, they're so fun. I want to be friends with them. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, what's she going to say? Oh, wait, I'm playing one of those characters. We're telling a crime show, so, you know, your crime story is going to have some darker elements to it, which means you need to come up with a B story that allows this incredibly funny group of people to be funny. And so then, you know, then you have to balance, you know, are we being too funny at moments that in fact are too sad? And then you sort of just tweak everything so that it feels, a, hopefully, a little bit like life. I think you have to start with Angie Harmon and Sasha Alexander, uh, who are a huge part of the reason why the people watch the show. Um, they're both not only gorgeous, consummate actresses, um, but I think that they're, they both just have a lot of fun 
working and I think that 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 really comes through in the work and so people have fun watching the show I mean it's like uh, I know a lot of um, the, you know every once in a while I get people coming up to me and um, who appreciate the show and a lot of times it's like moms and daughters it's like something they share together and it's like a kind of a fun thing they do fun entertainment mixed with uh, really interesting cases that we get to solve um, and that's something that you know, we haven't had for a little while, I think, on television.